Kevin, welcome to the show. I do want to get Thanks to. I do want to get to the turnaround story that is Chili's within Brinker. But first, I, I have to start with all of this macro data that we've been getting, including this latest inflation read this morning that was hotter than expected. What are you seeing across your brands? And is it affecting consumer spending patterns in your restaurants? Yeah, yeah as we uh, we talked about in our last earnings call, uh, certainly the lower income cash cap customer is coming in a little bit less. and. You know, when you have this kind of environment, there's two things that you really got to think through. One is to make sure if there's going to be fewer trips to these restaurants, we need to make sure we have our fundamentals incredibly good because what guests are doing is they want, when they go out to eat, they want great food in a great, uh, in a great restaurant with great hospitality. And those fundamentals are what's going to separate, you know, the winners from the losers. And so we're going to double down and focus on those things. And the second thing is we got to have high, hot price points, right? So. For that low-income guest that either can't come to Chili's or can't come to da casual dining, and they need to have an incredible price point, you know, we have that abundant value. We have a 10.99 three for me, you know, offer right now. We have multiple full-size entrees, your cho your choice of appetizer, an unlimited drink, and it's just 10.99. And if you compare that to like even fast food benchmarks, that's an incredible value in the market. So I think we focus on those two things: the fundamentals, and then having price points for those guests that really can't afford to go elsewhere. I think we're going to be okay. Are you making money on a 10.99 meal in this environment? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we will certainly, uh, you know, cost engineer the things that we put on that menu. And then the second thing we do is we make sure that we manage the mix on that, right? So if a guest does, you know, wants to trade up to steaks or chicken or other things, we make sure that those are prominent on the menu and we can manage that with merchandising. And so for that guest that really needs that kind of value. You know, we have it available, but it's not something that we go plaster all over the menu. So as long as we keep it focused and we keep and we manage the mix on it, we're going to be fine. So we've talked about the guest side of the equation. How about the employee side of the equation? How are you able to hire and retain employees in this labor market? Are you seeing any signs that that could be easing a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. So you know, there's two things that I think um, you're asking about. One is manager turnover, which we feel really good about right now. That's an obsession metric that we have with our vice presidents of operations, and they've done a phenomenal job uh, stemming the turnover at the managerial level, which is probably the most important position in all of our restaurants. You know, the other thing is team member turnover, and quite frankly, we haven't seen that completely uh, rebound to where it needs to be. So we're getting lots of candidates, uh, but we're still seeing a lot of turnover. And you know, in my kind of listening tour, my first hundred days, what I heard from our team members and our managers is we've got to make it easier to work at a Chili's again. And we got to make it more fun. And when Chili's was at its best, both guests and team members were having a great time. And that's what we're going to be committed on doing and bringing back to our restaurants. How do you make it more fun to work at a Chili's? Yeah, well, there's a couple of things. So, um, you know, we have some things that we call give back nights that we used to have uh, before the pandemic that we stopped for obvious reasons. You know, that's an example where um, the guests can choose their. Um, cause of their choice, whether it's their kid's softball team or a little league team, or it's something for their church. Um, and they can actually arrange with the restaurant to get a portion of the proceeds that night um, that go back to that cause. And the team members love doing that. Like, who doesn't love giving back to their community and having special nights where uh, they can really give back to their community? That's one example. Another one we just did, um, we had a social media exchange with uh, pop star Nicki Minaj. And her fans, the Barbs, were calling for Chili's to support them. And so we had uh, Marge for Barb's Day, and that was a hashtag. It was the number four trending uh, hashtag on Twitter where you could get a $5 uh, Barbarita, which is named after, obviously, her namesake, and is pink. And both the team members got dressed up, but like, you know, the Barb's fans, as well as we had tons of Barb's fans coming in. And that's the kind of thing that, like, we got to get back to where both the team members and the guests are having fun uh, uh, together and having a great experience.